Well, this is going to be a really fun day, a day of family and friends. It's coming up this Sunday. It is the 10th annual NF Walk Sunday. It's a big event. We're going to be raising awareness and money for the Children's Tumor Foundation. Now, the goal is to end this disorder. It's called NF, and the walk is right here at our CBS Studio Center. Ted and Laura Wallaf are here along with their daughter, Grace. This is Team Grace, led by Grace. Grace? <laughs> <laughs> How old are you, Grace? She's five. You're five? All right, so uh, Grace's whole family involved in this, and because this is a very personal mission for your family, mm -hmm. because Grace is actually affected by this. Exactly. So when Grace was about two months of age, we um, realized that she had a lot of cafe au lait spots all over her skin. Mm -hmm. um, and so we went to the neurologist and figured out that she had NF, neurofibromatosis um, 1. And essentially, that is a genetic disease where uh, you lack the gene that stops tumor growth. So neurofibromatosis causes um, tumor growth throughout your body, on your nervous system, in your body, and in your brain. It leads to um, a lot of issues, uh, learning disabilities, deafness, blindness, uh, disfigurement, and even cancer. And so. it looks like Grace has been in the hospital, had some treatments. Right now, no cure for this. No cure at this time, and that's why we walk. That's why this walk is so imperative. We raise money, and um, I think about this LA walk alone, we raise over $100,000 every year. All that money goes to research. The more clinical trials we can come up with, the more closer, the closer we are to finding a cure. And Ted, this must have been a shock to your family. Grace looks so healthy. Yes, and so far, we've been fairly lucky. Um, we do have to get MRI about every three months. Mm -hmm. We uh, track the tumor growth that's on her uh, hypothalamus and on her optic nerves, but uh, so far she's done well and not everybody is quite as lucky with uh, neurofibromatosis, so we're, we're here to raise awareness and to uh, raise money on Sunday. How, how do you explain something like this to, to a, a four or five year old? Well, she's been, you know, I think she's been amazing because it becomes an it becomes a level of new normal. I think you know whatever the issue is, you have to integrate it into your into your life. And so she plays doctor really well. <laughs> she has a lot of doctor toys and equipment. Um, we have a lot of family and support, and we just try to say that there's spots on her skin and spots on her brain, and we go in to take big pictures and. Um, it's just our way of taking care of her. So. Grace, you are a normal, weekly five-year-old girl, and yes. I know you're ready to get out of that chair, but <laughs> we're going to tell the folks some more about, uh, about this walk. So again, it's coming up Sunday. Anybody can join, mm -hmm. and this is a way to help spread the word about this illness because there is no cure, no real treatments right now Absolutely. either. Well, not only are you raising money for an amazing cause this weekend by coming out Sunday at 8 a.m. to CBS Studios here on the lot, which is fantastic, um, and we're so grateful to CBS for always sponsoring us and supporting us. Um, but also, it's not its not just going to be a fundraiser. It's also going to be a really fun fall festival. Lots of kids. There. Lots of kids. There's going to be um, uh, professional hula hoopers. There's going to be pumpkin decorating. There's going to be cape decorating. There's going to be um, uh, face painting. There's going to be stormtroopers. There's going to be Disney princesses. Um, so it's going to be a really fun event. It's going to be and a great And Grace time. is going to be there. And yes. Grace will be Give there. Give me a high five. High five. <laughs> oh, we missed. Do it again. Don't <laughs> All, right. All right, the 10th annual NF Walk is this Sunday. It all kicks off right here in Studio City. It's at our CBS Radford lot. And guess what? Josh Rubenstein, our chief meteorologist, he's going to be the MC for the event. Thanks, guys, for being here. Thanks, Thanks for being here. So